the book of James, and then, if you would, praise God, get the Proverbs chapter number four. Chapter number four. Thought the Lord had placed upon my heart that we as people of God need to go back and fix it right. Amen. We need to go back and fix it right. Amen. I'm going to let the urchins off the floor. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You may walk quickly to your seats. Amen. And I hope amen, you can receive the Lord today. Bow your heads with me now. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we do thank you. We praise you, Lord, for your word is right. Father, I ask you even right now, move by the Spirit of God. Open up every heart to receive, ear to hear, mind to retain the Word of God. That these your children be doers of the Word, and not hearers only. Bless me even now, Lord, to impart righteousness and truth and revelation to your people in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Today we're going to be talking about getting wisdom. Come on, Brother James. Amen. Amen. James chapter number one. James chapter number one. Hallelujah. James chapter number one. Thank God. James chapter number one. Get wisdom. Look at somebody and say, get wisdom. Now, when we look at the book of James, this is not the apostle James, but the brother of Jesus. Amen. Notice James starts out in verse number one. It says, James, he calls his name. A servant of God. He was wise enough to talk about, I'm not his brother. He, he was, I'm sorry, he was wise enough not to say, I am his brother. But he said, a servant. Notice that word, servant. A servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings. My brethren, count it all what? Joy. When you fall into divers temptations. That doesn't mean you've given in to temptation. That means you are dealing with testes. This is just testes. Amen. Sometimes you're tested on every side, all at the same time, but you can have it. Look at your name and say, you can have it. The Bible says, knowing this, that the trying of your faith work of patience, but let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God. They give it to all men liberally. Now look at that word all. That is inclusive. That means you are included in this. Now church, I'm going to say again, get wisdom. Give it to all men liberally in a braid of knot. And it shall be given him. The Bible says God will give it to you. Amen. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and toss. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Can I read that part again? A double-minded person, man, is unstable in all his ways. All his ways. And in the book of Proverbs, chapter number four, I want to read from verse number one. 
It's good to read the Bible. Did y'all know it's good to read the Bible? You know, I find the Bible has been the most intriguing book I ever read. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Proverbs chapter number four. Thank you, Lord. Verse number one. This is one of my favorite books. The Bible says, Hear ye children the instructions of a father, and intend to know understanding. For I give you good doctrine. How many of y'all gonna get the word now? Amen. I only heard somebody. How many of y'all gonna get in the word now? Amen. He said, I give you good doctrine, good teaching. Forsake ye not my law. For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also and said unto me, Let thine heart retain my words, keep my commandments and live. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, for she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom of all thy getting. Get what? Understanding. Exhort her. Mm. Live like it tells you. Exhort her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. She shall give thine head an ornament of grace and a crown of glory. She shall, shall she deliver to thee. Hear, O my son, and receive my saying. For the years of thy life shall be many. I have taught thee in the way of, I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. I have led thee in right paths. I have led thee in right paths. When thou goest, thy steps shall not be straightened. And when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. Take fast hope of instructions. Let her not go. Keep her. For she is thy life. Look at your neighbor again and say, get wisdom. Get wisdom. It's time for the people of God to move into the level that God has called them. And the one way we're going to move into that level, amen, we must loose ourselves from the world and the things of the world. Because there's a way that the world do things. They seem right, but they bring us to death. We, amen, as the people of God, amen, have a different way of thinking. This is why the Bible tells us, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Now the Bible tells us, amen, about wisdom, amen. And wisdom is the principal thing. We all come in here, amen, into the earth knowing nothing. Amen. But the Lord wants us to be wise as serpents, but harmless as doves. Are y'all hearing me? Amen. amen. The Bible began to tell us, amen, that God wants everybody to be wise. He wants everybody to have wisdom. Now, wisdom is the accumulated scientific, philosophical, Knowledge, the ability to discern the inequalities and relationship. Wisdom is insight. Let me go down to the nitty gritty. Wisdom is good sense. Having good sense. Oh, yes, yes. Good judgment. Amen, amen. Wisdom, amen. Uh, uh, causes people to have the right attitude where they can deal with situations that they will uh, come in contact with in this life. Are y'all listening? Wisdom comes from the word wise, and anybody in the audience should know what wise is, is the character of understanding. 
to be king in senses. Amen. Amen. We got to become sharp amen. and prudent. Amen. Because, amen, the devil, amen, our adversary is walking to and fro. And he's been around over 6,000 years in his fallen state. Looking how he can devour the people of God. Amen. You say, why didn't you say the world? Because I already got them. He's one that is so crafty. Amen. So therefore, we must begin to get wisdom that we can understand the battle, the flight, the understanding of how we can deal with this thing called the devil. Are y'all listening? Now the Bible tells us plainly. He tells us, amen, God gives us good teaching. But we must apply ourselves to what we're taught. We must learn, amen, to hello, church. The world and all the things that it has to offer us is not for us. We must get the attitude like Moses, rather suffer with the people of God than enjoy the pleasure of sin for a season. The things that you desire, amen, the things that you want, amen, the things, amen, that's drawing you away from being wise, amen. We need to shake ourselves, amen, and become sage, amen. How y'all listening to me? we got to become so prudent in this hour because the devil are using all kind of tactics to get people, amen, and put them in bondage, amen. When God came to give you life and that more abundantly, he come to set the captives free. So why should you be bound because you did something dumb? Come on, come on, cut it. Look at your name and say, are you using what God giving you? Now the Bible tells us here He says wisdom is the principal thing We need to begin to say Wait a minute I've been foolish all my days I'm going to talk about me for a minute Because I was born in a foolish family They thought a man Variety is the spice of life Y'all don't hear me Yes they did They implanted things into my mind Into my spirit and an early age, hallelujah, like my mama used to tell me, God loves, he takes care of babies and fools, my Lord, but when I got in the Bible, I found out that God has no pleasure in fools, now the opposite of being wise is a fool, are y'all hearing me today, but I got into the word of God and found out that God has called me to walk in a high place above what the things that people are driven through and driven in. Are y'all listening? Amen. Because we got to understand God has called us out to be separate. We're called out to be elite. We're called out to be the head and not the tail. We're called out to lead and not have to follow people. I didn't say not follow God. Come on, come on. Amen. 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 We got to realize, amen. That the merchandise God gives us through his word is so precious, amen. It gives us lift of days. Hallelujah. Y'all are listening to me. Amen. amen. It is more precious than rubies. And all the things that you can desire are not to be compared with it. Are y'all listening? Are y'all hear me? Are y'all, I've, I've lost somebody. My God. God is saying, people, this know he has a short time. Uh, he's pulling out the stops. Uh, but the people of God, uh, it's time to be wise. Uh, but the Bible said they didn't know God. Uh, and the only way you're going to know God, uh, you got to get in the Word of God. Because uh, in the beginning was the Word. Uh, and the Word was God. Uh, and the Word was made flesh. Uh, I used to hear people say, uh, I love the Lord. Uh, but you're living like a fool. Uh, I love the Lord, but I'm living everything that is not according to the word of God. And the Bible told me, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. So many folks today want to talk a good talk, but you don't know God. Hallelujah. So, what are you trying to say, preacher?
future. But if it ever been a time, because the time is now for you to get in here and get in saturated, or saturated with the word, because wisdom is the word of God, is the way God has planned things from the beginning. God sat down and wise as he is, he set the planets, hallelujah, in the earth, I'm sorry, set the planets in the atmosphere, hallelujah, and now with his word, the word of wisdom, he holds all things together by the power of his word, don't you know he set the time, the seasons, the days, hallelujah, if you know how to do that, you need to start listening to him, hallelujah, because God's wisdom will help you to deal with your family, hallelujah, I'm talking about them unsaved family members, you know how to ask a fool according to his foolishness, or ask a fool not according to his foolishness, because of the wisdom of God, hallelujah, the Bible told you and me to be ready to give an answer to every man for the reason of the hope that's in us. How many know you gotta be wise? Because you can't be afraid. You gotta know what to say. Are y'all listening? God's people should be above all people and knowing how to handle business. Are y'all with me? Yeah. What you trying to say, preacher? The Bible deals with us. It tells us in the 25th chapter. Hallelujah. There were five was wise, and there were five virgins that were foolish. The five knew how to hold on to what they had, but let me go a little farther. There were some folks that God gave talents to. Hallelujah. One five, one two, and one one. But the wise did something with the talents. They didn't go waste time. They went to multiply the talents. And talents is money. I know that's what the Bible says. But if somebody didn't know how to handle money, God told him, wait a minute, bro. You done messed up my money. You hid my money. You don't have an increase. Take this one. Give this talented one. They got 10. And throw him down. There should be national and gas in the teeth. Wow. But wait a minute. The Bible talks to us in the Old Testament. Yeah. That was a son of Jacob. Hallelujah. God used as a priest of that day for the famine. His name was Joseph. And now Joseph, he was accounting of the family. Everybody was working. But Joseph kept the books. Y'all know him. And the brothers got a little jealous at him. But let me tell you, when your brothers are jealous at you, you can't take wisdom out of you. Yeah. They threw him down in a hole. Sold him off. Hallelujah. Next you know, Joseph, the Bible told me he was wise. Hallelujah. As a slave. And the Bible said it brought him down. It promoted him. Then somebody saw. See, this is what I told you before. Either you're in a test, you're going into a test, or you're coming out of a test. But Joseph got to look comfortable walking around with the books, doing the books for, for Potiphar's house, things prospering in Potiphar's house because he was wise, knew how to handle business. Yeah, y'all ain't listening. I mean, y'all listening. Lord have mercy. Next thing you know, the devil rose up and said, Lie with me. Just wait, I'm too wise to lie with you. I've already seen what unbridled sex would do. I've already seen a whole household, a whole tribe get wiped out by my brothers. But they had sex. The boy had sex with my sister. Lord have mercy. Ah! Can I do this thing and sin against my God? Don't you know, church, it's wise not to sin against God. Shake your neighbor, shake him right now. And say, no, 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 come on, y'all ain't shaking nobody. Hallelujah. And say, it's not wise to sin against God. Hallelujah. So she was thrown down in the dungeon. But see, Joseph was so wise. Are y'all listening to me? Hallelujah. Even though in the state that he was in, he said, Where's 
to me is a principal thing. I got it. I need to use it. Because I've got to go up. I'm coming out of this. And I'm looking good. I can't say it right now, but I see it in the vision of my mind. Because I'm hoping for it. I mean, no wisdom will cause you to hope. You hope for better days. And if you believe God, He'll bring it to pass. But you got to be steadfast. I'm bound in the work of the Lord. I didn't say that. No monkey business. I'm talking about God's business. Yeah. Too many of us. When things get a little tight. Then we go in the monkey business. Then we go messing around. Then we go back in the world. Trying to figure out how to do it the way the world do it. It won't work for you. It won't work for you. Look at somebody say, wait on the Lord. And be of good courage. Wait, I say on the Lord. Joseph was waiting. He became one of the caretakers of the prison. Even though he was a prisoner. Are y'all listening to me? See, wisdom promotes you. Even in the mess. Wisdom will bring you up. Are y'all listening? All at once, there was a baker and a butler. Came out and made Pharaoh man. Yeah. Joseph had the knowledge of God so he knew how to interpret from God don't you know wisdom will cause you to discern and interpret facts don't you know God will give you so much insight because God gives his prophets are y'all listening to me understanding hallelujah so Joseph interpret dreams are y'all with me let you know hallelujah the beggar was beheaded Yes, he was. <laughs> but if Bob brought the cup back to Pharaoh, Joseph said, wait a minute. You're supposed to tell him something. But he knew God. He had wisdom enough to keep his mouth shut and wait on the Lord. How do you know? Wisdom would cause you not to speak. There's a time to speak. And there's a time not to speak. We got to get wise and crafty enough to shrewd. Some people are utter their whole mind. Tell everything. Hallelujah. Lord have mercy. Don't you know church? Hallelujah. There's a time you're not supposed to cast your pearl before swines. Y'all didn't hear me. Yeah. And all at once, Pharaoh. See, God won't let you go. Are y'all with me today? God won't let you go when you really trust him. That's what the Bible says. Trust the Lord with all that what? And lean not to your what? Oh, and understand. See, wisdom don't deal with your understanding. Because God thoughts are not your thoughts. God ways are not your ways. This is why we need the wisdom of God. If you don't have wisdom, why don't you just fall down on your knees and cry out to God? Lord, I've been stupid all my life. They've been tricking me all my life. Lord, why don't you cry? Yeah, because they need to be 
rise to shine at the brightness of the firmament, and they determine many to righteousness as stars fell. Don't you know when you're working in God's vineyard, there's a pay for working in God's vineyard. I said, God will pay you. So Joseph, he knew God. So he waited. Still wait. Most of us, when we think God's supposed to move, hallelujah, and he don't move when you think he's supposed to move. Because the Bible said, let patience have a perfect work, and you may be perfect and entire, won't nothing, but we get ancient. Hence it pain. God, you said you're going to do this. The prophet prophesied. I heard though the vision turn, wait for it. I said, no, it tarry. Wait for it. Don't get me going doing stuff, trying to make stuff work. Don't get your Ishmael. Y'all ain't listening. He said, who is Ishmael? Huh? That was the first child between Sarah and Abraham. Abraham's supposed to get a son, a promised son. I said a promised son, not a fleshly son. See, when you get on in the flesh, you're going to try to make something happen. All you're going to do is make a mess. That's why right now we're dealing with all that mess over in the Middle East today. Because them are the sons that came out of the flesh. Them are hey guys, kids. Don't you want what God has for you? So you got to wait. But Joseph being so wise. Mm -mm -mm. He waited on God. He waited God to move. Look here. When you wait on God to move, when God move, hallelujah, ain't no stopping you now. I said, when God move, everything begin to fall in place. I said, when God move, it's like dominoes falling down. You won't even how to believe how you came out. And I'm a witness. Hallelujah. I said, wait on the Lord. Joseph waited on the Lord. All of a sudden, Pharaoh dreamed a dream. I said, he dreamed a dream. <laughs> Y'all don't understand. I'm trying to preach with this soul in my mouth. <laughs> Words don't come out the way you want them to come out with a hole in your mouth. But he dreamed a dream. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Could nobody interpret the dream? Old Butler said, wait a minute. I was down there in prison. And you know there's a fella down there. He interpreted dreams. He told the butler in three days, Pharaoh is going to have his head. Lord have mercy. And in three days, I'll be handing you your cup. And it came to pass. Just like it. I can see Pharaoh's eyes get big. This must be a man of God, a wise man. Hallelujah. Don't you know if you God's man, you ought to have some wisdom. I said, you know, if you're God's man, you should be in touch with God. And God knows all things. Hallelujah. Because all things are of God. Are y'all hearing me? Let me show you something. When Joseph came before Pharaoh, he knew to give homage to Pharaoh. Even though he's a man of God, he said, wait a minute now, y'all done hear me down there all this time. Now you want to hear from me? Come on, come on, tell it. He didn't get no attitude. He gave him homage. Then he was so wise. He said, Pharaoh, I don't, it ain't in me to interpret, but it's in God. Let no give God the glory here. Hallelujah. If you're wise people, when something good happened, you give God the glory. I said, when God works with you, you give God the glory. I listen to some saints. They get up and testify. And they say, I, 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 and I, and me, and I. But where's God? Lord have mercy. Don't you know God? Put the treasure down in your earthen vessel that the power and the excellence of sea may be of God and not of us. When God uses you, it's God in you. The hope of glory is the power of God that gives me the strength to preach, teach, and do exploits. Hallelujah. It ain't about me. It's about the 
kingdom and it ain't about me it's all about Jesus I must increase but he can increase why don't you humble yourself under the heaven above that he can raise you up that you'll be one of the wise in this land cause we need some wise people I heard this poor wise man who delivered the city but the same poor wise man was not remembered but it's all right because your blessings, your miracles, everything come from God. And if you do it for the glory of God, for the bill of the kingdom, there's going to be a time when the people of God stand before God and receive from God what they did in their bodies. Are y'all hearing me? Anybody want some blessings? Hallelujah. He said, God. Then he had Pharaoh said, wait a minute, if there ain't anybody in the land as wise as this fella, I tell you what I'm gonna do. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wisdom is your what? Promote thee. Look at Joseph living a wise life through rough situation. Look at somebody say, get some wisdom. Church is finna get rough and rough up. And if it's rough on you now, then wise up. Knowing whom you believe. Are y'all listening? Amen. Amen. It's time to know it, who God is. Amen. I heard if God be for you, what, what, what? if God be for you, not before, but for you. Y'all hear me? Okay. If God is for you, why are you whining and crying? Amen. Why are you manifesting? Why are you tipping and dipping and slipping? Tell it. Why don't you get accelerated? Oh, y'all hear me? I'm talking about get some speed behind you yes, yes, yes. to do the will of God. I learned something in my tests. I learned that the more the devil come against me, the more I do for God's glory. Amen. See, when the devil come against you, church, and you start, let me digress. When you start doing something for the Lord, and the devil come against you. He's just trying to confuse you and make you stop doing what you already doing that's right. Are you hearing me? Because he knows if you on, stay on that course, amen, everything that you really want is going to come to pass. Are you listening? David learned something as a little running fella. Killed the liar. So, so who is that sibling? He said, that's old son of Jesse. He said, bring him to me. Put him in the army. Put him in his household. David, a young fella. But David learned how to behave himself wisely. Saul's throwing chaplains at him. He playing the music, trying to drive out the evil spirits, and Saul's still trying to do it me. Oh, but David learned something. Hallelujah, it's not wise to touch God's anointed. Keep your mouth off your preacher. And your Sunday school teacher. Oh, y'all ain't getting that. Ah! David behaved himself wise in the house of Saul. He kept doing the work of God. Kept fighting the battles of God. Come on here. Promotion. Come from God. I said, when you're wise, God will raise you up. Y'all ain't listening. How many of y'all listen? Yeah. God knew how to do things. Hallelujah. Benjamin. Was a tribe that was ruling. Hallelujah. Are y'all listening? Jonathan supposed to be the next king. Uh, Jonathan knit his heart with David's heart because David was so wise uh, and so prudent. Uh, hallelujah. Have an understanding uh, of the wars and the times. Uh, hallelujah. Are y'all hearing me today? Uh, David was so wise. Uh, Jonathan, amen, gave him his armor, uh, gave him his crown, uh, gave him his, his place in the kingdom. Uh, but you know what happened? Uh, Saul tried to kill him. Uh, Say, yeah, how can I get David? Tell David, I'm making one of my son-in-laws. Uh, I need a hundred four skins uh, of the Philistines. Uh, David was wise enough to go out there and get 200. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, he was a bloody man uh, for the kingdom of God. Uh, he knew when to take blood. Uh, and he knew when to not. Uh, David, amen, became a prince. Uh, for you know, all Saul's sons got killed off. Uh, David reigning. From the house of Judah. How many of y'all want to reign? Come on, here. You got to fight sometime. 
But you gotta know when to fight. Are y'all listening? Joseph was so wise. Listen here. Next under Pharaoh. Pharaoh said, wait a minute. Joseph's word is above everybody's. The only word will be above Joseph is mass in the throne. And he said, in the throne. I don't even want to deal with the business. I don't want to do it. Don't you know Joseph got all the money out of all of Egypt? Well, I lost everybody. Oh. <laughs> all you got to read it, do is read the story. He collected all the money. All the then he collected all the cattle <laughs> for Pharaoh. Hello, church. Yeah. 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 If you're wise, God will make it here and not the tail. Oh, y'all hear me? God will make it where you can lean and not out the bar. Y'all ain't listening to me. How many y'all listen to me? Look here. You need to learn how to work the works of God wise day. Cause night is coming when no man can work. It's time to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. It's time to do everything. Sit down and count the cost. Hallelujah. Can I go and do this now? Or Lord, should I wait? Look here. You shouldn't buy stuff on impulse. Y'all ain't listening to me. Hallelujah. Cause the money is God's. The silver, the gold is God's. God's, huh? and you better recognize that's God's stuff, huh? and your house is God, huh? your car is God, huh? your baby is God, huh? your bodies huh? are the temple huh? of the Holy Ghost, huh? which temple you are, huh? and you can't defile God's temple, huh? and at the same time be wise, are huh? oh, y'all listening to me, huh? it's time to cry out for wisdom, look at somebody says on their test. It's only a test. Come on here, come on here, but you can pass every test. I gotta get out of here. I look, I look just saw the time. I gotta get out of here. Hallelujah. My God, let's, let's go one scripture more. Can I, can I take you one more scripture? Let's go to Matthews chapter 24. Everybody go over there with me. Hallelujah. Matthews chapter 24, Jesus told you for the end time. This is an end time scripture. Are y'all listening to me? Hallelujah. I used to preach and say, y'all didn't want to pray. Y'all don't hear me and y'all don't want to pray. Hallelujah. Look at verse number 45. Hallelujah. Jesus asked a question. As he told us about the end time, all the stuff that's coming up on this earth. Are y'all listening? Everybody got verse 45? This is a question. Who then? is a faithful. So you can't be wise and not be faithful. I go when I want to go. I come when I want to come. That ain't wise. <laughs> that ain't wise. That ain't wise. Who then? Who? Who? Look at your name and say, are you? Who? Are you? Are you who? <laughs> Sound kind of funny, but that's a question. Who then is a faithful and wise what? Servant. servant. I don't know where you get this high minded stuff. You ain't a servant. Either you're going to serve God or you're going to serve the devil. Either you're going to be obedient to God and be wise or you're going to be the devil's slave. Now I challenge you this day to choose whose servant you're going to be. Are y'all listening? Amen. Hey man, I challenge you. See, God pays off real good. He gives you life in that more abundantly. You saw the devil, he's gonna kill, steal, and destroy your prosperity, your mind, your peace, your body, and then he's gonna annihilate you and pull you down to hell. Are y'all listening? Who then is a faithful and wise steward? Servant, I said, steward, servant, <laughs> whom the Lord have made ruler over his what household to give them what meat when in due season. Everybody want to now, now, now. I know we live in this instant world. I'm almost ready to say, get rid of fast foods. Ain't that the truth? Fast foods that just messed up the world. Yeah. 
in America. Good Lord. Folks don't even know how to cook no more. Men and women. <laughs> I know a fella came up in this church. He was eating so much garbage. Tell me, telling me, I can't use the bathroom. I can't use the bathroom. I said, what do you eat? Fast food. All clogged up. I needed some good old grains from good old uh, Sister Kena. <laughs> Get some greens, yeah. drink the bra, y'all ain't listening. Fruits, yeah. you know, fruits. Vegetables, I don't like vegetables. I'm like, you don't like what? What? You're 54 years old and you don't even eat vegetables? See, that's somebody that ain't wise. I don't drink no water. Well, what do you think you made of, mostly? Church, you can't be Bishop Calhoun and not hear this stuff I hear. And see the stuff I see, I'm like, how is this world? The world is killing folks. Do y'all see this? God said he's going to make you a ruler. Did the Bible say ruler? Did y'all see that? Amen. And what kind of season? Do. When is do? When you're, you're putting enough. See, most people don't understand. They go and they go give it a little tithe for two weeks and then they well, the, open up the door to heaven, Lord. What a blessing. Pour it out. Yeah. <laughs> Pour it out. <laughs> that don't even sound like faithful yet. Yeah. You can't even work for the government, amen, uh, two weeks and get paid. How many of the government pay for it once a month and stuff? <laughs> I'm so glad I get paid every week. The Bible said, do season. Blessed is that servant whom is his Lord when he cometh shall Find what? No. So what? Do it. So what? Do it. See, that's a wise person. Yeah. I'm going to do a little bit. I'm, I'm going to come to church a couple of days. I haven't been there. I put my time in. I see any folks here get mad at the preacher because he went too long. But a man would listen to Paul all night. Up in the ladders. He went to sleep. He just dozed. He was trying to stay woke. I can see, because some young people, they can't stay up. I know. I know. See, they, they think us old guys, we, we just strong as ox. No, we learn how to just endure. You couldn't be me, because I'm a truck driver. Let me tell you something about truck driving. We endure long hours. One doze, you are off the road. <laughs> When I first started trucking church, I believe it was in the first year, I was in Missouri too, going down to Mexico, Missouri. Didn't get enough sleep, going down there, dozed. All of a sudden, God had me wake up, and the only thing I was looking at that embankment, the thing to hold the bridge together, you know, the concrete embankment. Ooh, yeah. Big old truck. 60 some thousand pounds behind me. When I pulled that thing back to the road, woo! <laughs> I woke me. I, I, I refuse to ever go to sleep behind the road, uh, behind the wheel, rather, on the road. I learned very quick this is the way to death. Are y'all listening? I learned how to stay up all day and all night. Amen. And go into the next day. Amen. Back then it wasn't against the law to drive. Well, it was against the law, but we ran hot. I used to leave St. Louis, drive all the way out to Lockport, uh, New York, the, drop the load, and then come back over to Pennsylvania and then go to bed. I learned how to stay up like Harry Tuckman. Y'all don't hear me. You kind of get the name of Harry Tuckman. She learned how to stay up. See, you see, you can learn something. Amen? 
You can learn things. But if you give in to every time something get a little against your, your natural ability or your, your ability that you're at. I should say natural. Come on. Look at your name and say, you can take way more than you are taking. Way more than you are taking. Now I'm closing, church. Can I finish reading this? Because this is so good. He said, verily I say unto you, that he shall make him rule over all his goods. But if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord delay of his coming, and begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and to drink with the drunkards, the Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, in an hour that he was not aware of. And shall cut him asunder. That's God telling us that. Did y'all listen to that? Did y'all hear that? You know, I don't know about you, but I think it's wise to serve the Lord now. Look at your name and say, it's wise. I wish I had a third choice for you. Either we're going to be wise and serve the Lord Seek out the wisdom, get wisdom, and live this life wise like God had planned it. Or we're going to live like the foolish, mess up a bunch of stuff. But you know, you're going to mess up a bunch of stuff. And then in this portion here in verse 51, everyone looking at it? Amen. And she cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. Hmm. Now you're in the church, it's too late to turn around. You heard the message one time, that's enough. Are y'all listening? Amen. You still got to repent, be baptized in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sin, and be filled with the Holy Ghost. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. That always scared me. Anybody wise? Amen. Anybody wise? Want, want, want to go through? Amen. 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 You got to want to go through. Are y'all listening? Amen. It's wise to go through. Because you got to go through anyway. Amen. Are y'all hearing me? It's wise to go through than to faint. Amen. Stand with me today.